Good morning. My name is José Pedro and I am the responsible for design in Aloft. First of all, thank you for joining us on this Safety Footwear Revolution Week. My pitch will be divided in two segments. First, I'm going to talk to you about positive and negative technology. On a second approach, I will talk about how VR is able to help me in my job as a designer here in Aloft. So, talking about positive negative technology. Here we have the, this amazing shoe uh, made with the help of Footwear Innovation Lab, our partners from Germany. They help us to develop a TPU and PU inlay. As you can see here, the TPU inlay was made based on the foot bed pressure. This is generative design. Let me take off this spray layer. So, all that bubbles that you see here are generated by computer. This is generative design. With the footboard studies that we have achieved, we can process that with the help of a computer, an algorithm, that will put each bubble in a position necessary for help this pressure that the feet made against the floor. As you can see here, there's a few bubbles that are not connected with each other. When I press here the spray PU, let me show you, okay, they disappear. It's like islands in the PU, but in reality they are connected together. This is made in a machine, a STEMA machine, by our partners from Phil. We provide them the outsole that you see here, the bubbles, and they put this on the, on the STEMA machine and they pulverize the first layer of PU by a robotic arm that pulverizes all these areas that you see without material and overlay will overcome here, all these areas will be covered with this first layer of PU. Then they will add a few more a few more layers, okay? At least we have four layers including the TPU, the TPU1, the PU that is made by a spray arm, an ar a robotic arm that will spray all the, the, this area, a second layer of PU and then a third layer that will provide all the comfort that the shoe needs for our feet. As you can see, we'll put everything together again. Let's reset the, the shoe. So now I'm gonna try to explain you how this could help me in my job as a designer here in Aloft and how I can talk with my clients with help of this kind of files in VR system. This is a shoe that is made by computer. I don't need materials to provide this to my client. And as you can see, there's a 90% 90, 90 of uh, alike, uh, a true shoe with, made with materials. Uh, for sustainability, for instance, this is amazing because I'm not using material to show this to my clients. They could see how the product is without have a, a real shoe in my hand. The other thing that this is capable of is erase er errors at the first stage. For instance, there's, let's see this, this this detail here. When this is made, the bridges that connect all these highlands that will be in the in the, the first layer of PU, uh, if you can see, they are squared. They have a lot of edges that are sharp edges, as you, you can see. What is the problem here? When the PU 
when the PU came, it will create a barrier. So we need to make this a little bit rounded. So this is one of the details that this file provide me before I made the mold. So all these areas will become a, lo a lot rounded and let the, 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 the material, the first layer of PU, flow between them. Let's see inside the shoe. Okay, this is not the best, uh, the best model to show this, but with the model like this one, you can see everything. So now that we have we have closed uh, the 3D file, I'm showing you the prototype, the first prototype. We already tested, and the grip is excellent. We made a lot of tests, this prototype, and works fine. This is the kind of project that takes at least one year to do. We made it with help of our partners, Phil, in three months. This is the kind of projects that we like to do. They defy us. So, if you have ideas like this one, challenge us. Thank you, and I hope you like this positive-negative pitch.